What's up guys? Jimmy from Mountain Bike Travel Review here and welcome to beginner mountain bike sessions with Brian. That's me. For those of you that don't know Brian, Brian is a beginner mountain biker. He's like a month or two into this, started on a $600 hardtail. Now he's upgraded to a 29er. He's got a nice niner here. I think it's a 2015, 29 inch wheels. It's a good starter bike, 130, 140 travel front and rear. So we're gonna hang out with Brian. We're gonna take him out and do some beginner skills. Everything from a bike check to how to manual and how to do some drops. Just starting with an average guy who's learning everything from scratch. Average guy. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be out here with these bugs. I need my latte. Butt back. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. All, right. All right, guys. So for episode one, we're going to do a basic bike check with Brian. We're going to make sure that he has everything that he has to get out on the trails in a safe and fun manner. But we're going to stick to the basics and what Brian should check every time before he goes out on his bike. All right, Brian, let's get rolling. First things first, we're gonna check out the bike. First thing you wanna check when you go on the trails is your tire pressure. Brian knows his tire pressure pretty well. Feels like he's running 26, 27 up front, 25, 26 in the rear. Don't wanna go out there and realize that you don't have enough pressure and then have to go all the way back to your car. The next thing you wanna test is your suspension. So again, we already did this in the parking lot. Brian rode around a little bit, made sure his sag was set to the right setting, pushed down all of his O-rings, to make sure that we know how much suspension he's using while he's riding. Your O-rings are key on your suspension. That way, if you're hitting any drops or anything big, you know how far your suspension is sinking. You know if you're bottoming out. So you always want to double check that. Make your suspensions running. Make sure all your switches are on. Pretty basic stuff. Next yeah. thing we want to check is Brian's brakes. Brian, have you checked your brakes today? Oh yeah, I'm yeah. a brake checker. <laughs> we want to make sure his brakes work. So quick test, you can ride your bike a little bit, see if they work. I can feel that both his front and rear brake are working really well. So we know the bike is going to work well. Another thing a lot of people like to do is go through with an Allen key or whatever tool you have and just make sure all of your bolts are tight. You don't want anything loose, anything falling off while you're riding. So now that Brian's bike's all set up, we know that his bike is safe and ready to go. The next thing we want to worry about is Brian's gear. So right now, Brian is on flat pedals. I, as more of an advanced rider, am on clipless pedals, so I have clipless pedals and shoes. Brian's on flat pedals. All he needs right now, as a beginner, is really a pair of sneakers. Brian is going to get upgraded to some actual riding shoes, maybe some 510s, but for now, he's got shoes, he's got pedals, we're good. Next up, <laughs> need a nice set of shorts. I would highly recommend that you have shorts with a chamois. I don't know if Brian has a chamois under there protecting his bum bum. Oh yeah, I do. But a chamois, <laughs> makes, chamois. The, <laughs> chamois makes the ride a lot more comfortable. Brian also, as you can see, has a helmet on. Helmet is fashion, fashion is in. Brian's brain matters. Protect your head. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Brian also has some fancy gloves. He goes fingerless. I prefer to have my fingers protected. For me, anytime I'm mountain biking, I prefer gloves with fingers. If you crash, you want to protect those little nub dubs. They hold on to everything. Or you can have spirit hands like me. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, one thing I always recommend and something that I'm wearing is some pads. Brian needs to get some pads. Brian's knees are very exposed. You'll learn the hard way when you crash. The knee pads, elbow pads, maybe for beginners, are very important. So if you can, rock pads. The last thing we're gonna talk about before you get on the trails is hydration and nutrition. One of the biggest things when you're out there riding is make sure you have enough fuel for your body. Water is your number one thing and then nutrition behind that. Something to snack on, something to keep your calories up and keep your body fueled. My friend Brian is well prepared. Brian first has his little snack pouch. Woo, Big what's fan that? Of the pouch. Oh, yum. Inside, he has a delicious Kate's bar. These are one of my favorite fuels, organic oat rice crisp bars. I like honey stinger as well. You can pretty much use anything you want. You'll also notice, in addition to nutrition, Brian has a multi-tool. Super helpful, has all your basic stuff, a band-aid. For my knees, because I don't have my pads. <laughs> Brian will likely crash. He also has, you either need a bike pump or you need CO2. So Brian has CO2, these are super easy, super quick to use. It's just a little CO2 and then it screws onto a cap so you can pump up your tire super fast, just like that. And then he also has a patch kit. So Brian still has tubes. Eventually we want to get him tubeless. Tubeless is going to help you a lot, a lot less puncture flats. But for now he has tubes, so having a patch kit is really helpful. The most important thing on Brian's bike 
is this, his water bottle. Hydration, hydration is so key when you're riding. You don't wanna get out there and realize that you don't have any water. Right now, we're in the Northeast, it's about 80 degrees and 70% humidity. If Brian doesn't have water, Brian will die. Shrivel up, this beautiful body will go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure always water, nutrition, and some basic tools with you to keep your bike running. All right, Brian, how do you feel? You ready for your first mountain bike session? Yes, I am. All right, sweet. We got everything checked off. Let's get out there. We'll see you guys in the next episode.